Hi guys! So, um, today's video is going to be about some very kind of popular brushes that I've had for a little while now but I haven't really experimented with them yet. Um, quick warning, if you can hear things in the background, my windows are open because it's a bit of a warm day today. We're having weird weather here in England again, like where it's, it's been cold for a couple of days and now it's gone warm again and we're like, yeah, so, just saying. So the brushes I want to show you are the kind of oval brushes. Of course I had to drop one. So, they're being made popular because the company Artis, I think that's how you pronounce it, have some brushes. Obviously, they're very, very expensive. So, I bought the cheap ones. The price was about £40, but what I did is I bought them through someone on Facebook. So, like, do you know how people on Facebook will sell, like, buy and sell pages, kind of similar to that? My mum was friends with someone on Facebook who was selling things. So, as an Eve present for myself, I thought I'd buy them because I had a bit of money left in my account. Turns out they didn't come in time for Eid, they came like two weeks after, so I've had them for about two weeks now, I think. Um, so yeah, um, I can't remember the exact price, but if I forget, I'll just put it somewhere here on the screen. I think it came too, because she shipped, she did the shipping as well. Um, so it was like £40, possibly, roughly, but most people have been getting this exact one, or the similar one, from Amazon. And they're called the Mermaid, I've wrote it under my little list there. Um, multi-purpose mermaid brushes I think that's what they're called um I actually threw the box away that it came in um I think on the back of the box it gives you numbers for the brushes I didn't really look at that because my box came kind of tattered and it was very broken and I was like oh my god my brushes might be broken so yeah luckily my brushes weren't broken so I was cool with that I was fine I was like okay that's cool but I just left them in their little white thing that they came in while before I film so they're here um, so today I thought I'd do a kind of first impression, kind of play around with them and I'm only going somewhere after this, to my cousin's house so hopefully my makeup turns out okay, otherwise I'll just have to remove it all so we're just going to get into it really, um, my face is already primed and I've turned my hair up and stuff because it's in its natural state and it's just very frizzy and very curly right now um, and I've got my little hairband on because you know my hair comes in my face, I have little baby hairs all the time so yeah, um, we're going to start I'm going to take this big brush, it's the biggest brush in set. I have watched a few videos on brushes like this so I kind of know what I'm doing so I didn't want to like go in completely blind. I wanted to know a bit about them. Um, so I've done my research a little bit, so yeah. Um, I primed my face already with Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I was just disturbed by my sister who wanted my laptop. So yeah, I've already primed. I usually use the Nivea Aftershave Balm but decided, today I decided not to. I was just like, well I'm not really doing much today so I don't need too much like holding power or anything so yeah I'm just gonna go in with it this is the first brush the biggest one they're really soft first impression is the brushes are really really soft but the little little um neck of the handle here I think you can call it is a bit flimsy like I'm kind of worried it might break and they're very lightweight so I've heard that the artiste ones like the original kind of like artiste ones are quite heavy and these are quite light so obviously I haven't got like artiste ones to compare but um yeah I'm going to take my number 7 per, uh, Stay Perfect Foundation um, and it's in the shade Warm Sand um, this is a new foundation I've been wearing quite a lot lately because it's a bit lighter and I like it what I'm going to do, um, what I've seen people are doing is taking it straight onto the brush like this or put it on their face first so I'll try it on the brush first and see what happens um, I usually use about 3 pumps of this or 2.5 pumps of this to get like a medium coverage because this is a light medium coverage foundation it's not like full coverage at all that much for now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, yeah, um, let's go. I'm kind of scared. I don't really know how you're supposed to do this. Kind of need a mirror, don't I? I should have thought of that. Okay, this isn't too bad. I like how it feels. I don't know if it's really doing anything for my face as such because I don't usually use brushes to do my foundation anyway. I use um, the Real Techniques Mir Miracle Sponge, so basically, like a beauty blender. I have a beauty blender, I just haven't used it yet. I'm too scared to like stain and tarnish the pinkiness of it um this gave me like an even base i haven't really got full coverage or anything crazy like that um but yeah i think i might do another layer and this time i might dot it on my face and see what happens so yeah let's do that let's see what happens i'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand like this about one and a half ish i'm not really doing this exactly i'm just kind of estimating i need a bit more on my forehead I'll put some on my neck because I will need to blend down to my neck because I think I've mentioned this before. I think my rest of my, the rest of my body is lighter because I tan quick on my face. So I always have to make sure I blend to my neck. Let's go in and try and blend this out now. 
I'm not very good. I think you could hold you hold it like this, but then again, I hold things very strangely already as it is. Like I don't hold my pencil the way most people do, so let's just try this and see what happens. Let's do the neck and see how this goes. Actually, this isn't too bad. I don't mind it. I don't love it, but I don't mind it either. It probably took, I know some people say this is probably faster, um, but for me, because I use a sponge, um, it's giving the same kind of application a sponge does, as well as the time it takes, it's doing literally the same time, because usually I like to build up the coverage when I'm using a sponge too, so this is pretty much doing the same thing for me. My face feels kind of itchy though, I don't know if it's because the bristles are like running against my skin, or like what? Okay, I think I've got my base of my foundation down. I don't think that looks too bad, actually. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty even. Next, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and kind of try and do concealer, but I don't have much concealer left. It's the Maybelline Age Rewind um, the Eraser Eye Concealer, and I don't have a lot of it left. Oh, I'm feeling a bit itchy here. Oh, that's strange. Oh, I don't like that feeling. Mm, that could just could be because I got hay fever and it's hot again, like I said today. So but I haven't got much left, so I'll see whatever I can get out of this thing. What I might do is just take a bit more foundation and put it underneath there as a concealer, I guess. The brush I'm going to take next is um, one of the smaller ones. I think it's this one um, it's one of the smaller kind of domed brushes and I'm just gonna try and use this for my concealers okay well it's definitely soft and it's definitely blending it I usually don't prefer having something this close to my eye because um, obviously I use the tip of the sponge like the pointy tip um, and that doesn't get as close as this but because my eyes are very um, sensitive and they can get very irritated quite easily so I don't like to have something this close which is why I like the sponge because it can't get extremely close well it can if you want it to but I usually keep it far, further away from my eye but this, it's, maybe because it's like a new thing and that's why it's harder to control oh my eyes have gone whoa Nelly okay It does feel like it might be tugging a little bit and I don't like to tug underneath my eye because obviously you know that can create wrinkles if you tug underneath your eye. I mean it blended it out perfectly fine. If I just show you a little bit. My eyes have got a bit red though. It has blended it out, it definitely has. Mm. Okay, I'm done with that. Whew. Now I normally don't really do contour much anymore so what I'm going to try and do is powder using that big same brush that I used um, I don't know how it works with powder I heard some people think it works really well and some people say it doesn't so I'm gonna try and see what happens to use that same big brush that I use my foundation and kind of just like pat it in I don't use, use um, loose powder but I've heard it works really good with loose powder I'm just gonna just pat it just to set my foundation a little bit and also my under eye concealer I'll probably do with the smaller brush in a second but you guys know if you've been a subscriber here for a long time now you know I have pretty oily skin so I definitely need to set my makeup um, I mean if you want to bake um, I've seen some videos when I was watching last night that some people have achieved baking pretty well with this at least a placement of baking the brushing away you still would need like a fluffier brush to like brush away your bake um, but the actual placement of it, this brushes, these brushes work really well for that because it's so dense I think that it just packs it on like the way you want for bake but I don't bake really because I don't really own translucent powder um, and plus I'm really lazy <laughs> and baking does take a lot of time and if, it, if I was to bake it wouldn't be like on an everyday basis anyway I'm, what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to take my regular brush and just like dust over my face um, I use a Morphe G7 brush for my powder I feel like this works a lot better it just distributes the powder nicely plus that brush is starting to make my face itch a little bit my eyes really hurt I don't know if it was just the brush or if it was just my eyes as you're normal okay that's done 
All right, so next what I'm gonna try and do is my bronzer. I don't know how this is gonna work because again, like I said, I don't have a liquid bronzer or anything like that, or even like liquid contour or a cream contour. Um, so I'm gonna use my regular powder that is falling apart, but I enjoy it so much that I don't care. Um, I'm gonna take the second biggest brush for that um, and see what happens. I'm just gonna kind of like pat it in. I don't want it too much because my face, I don't need that bronzed. <laughs> so I'm gonna try. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. I probably need a bit more powder actually. It gives a more diffused look. I've definitely noticed that, like it really diffuses your products out so I'm having a bit more like a lighter bronzer day and if I was to try this with contour I would feel like it would do the same like it would really diffuse my contour out uh, but I haven't been wearing contour on a daily basis much anymore so I just thought I'd bronze instead yeah I feel like it fits like really well like right here um, if, I think if you were going to contour you would need to use a bit more like actually maybe you could use like the side of it oh I'm going to try that with my bronzer though Maybe my bronze is just like not that pigmented. Oh, actually, it's kind of doing something. Hmm, and then you can like blend upwards and backwards back towards the hairline and ear. I feel like I'm having to pack on more bronzer than I normally would though. The fact that you have to have like such a precise way of holding this as well probably doesn't help. Because like I said, I hold things fairly weirdly already as it is. Okay, I think I'm going to stop with the bronzer because I don't think I can get much more out of it because, like I said, this really does diffuse your makeup out so I don't think I can get much more out of it. Um, next, I want to try cream because um, I know this works really well with creams. Like, it doesn't work as well with powders, I've realised now. But it does work really well with creams and liquids so I wanted to try a cream uh, blush and I have um, the Stila Convertible Colours. Um, I thought I'd try Peony first. Um, because it's a lighter shade, so it's more forgiving, so we'll try this first, and then if we need more colour, I can top it up with the second one that I have, which is called Lilium. Um, it's a bit of a brighter colour, um, very brighter colour, it's very corally, um, so we'll see how puny works first, and then I'll build up if I need to. I'm going to just... I don't want to get too much. I think that should be enough, and a hair is already falling out of it. Let's see how this goes. This is actually the scary bit. So um, I'm gonna smile and do how I normally would do blusher and see how this works. Oh, okay, that wasn't that much color, so maybe I should dip it into the pan a bit more. Maybe I should swirl it. I didn't want to swirl it because I was scared it might be really bright. But obviously, this isn't a bright color, so maybe I should swirl it. I've swirled it a bit. Okay, yes, got quite a bright dollop. Don't know if you guys can see that on camera. No, like it's quite bright, but it's all right. I don't mind because it is sunny today, so I can get away with bright, like, blusher because I make it look kind of flushed and stuff. Let me try a bit more, or should I try and risk it with the corally color? Do you know what? I'm gonna try and risk it with the corally color. I'm doing this now, I might as well just go all out. Okay, this is Lilium, and it's also a Stila convertible colour. Gonna go in there. Ooh, I might have got too much. Yeah, I definitely got too much. My hair, my baby hairs keep coming in my face. I'm gonna brush it upwards. This one doesn't feel as like, um, like bendy from here. I'm figuring out now, and also from some videos I watched, that the bigger ones feel less sturdy here, the smaller ones feel more sturdy, st <laughs> more sturdy here. So, um, just when you're using the bigger ones, I guess to be a bit more careful, really. Okay, I think I've got my blusher okay now. I think it's all right. It's not too bad. I don't think it's too bad anyway. I don't know why anyone else thinks, but I think it looks good. Next, I'm going to do some cream highlighter and see how that goes. So what I'm going to do is put it onto my face 
and then blend it out I think that would be the best way to do it because it's a stick form and it's the Kiko Radiant Touch Creamy Stick Highlighter in the shade 100 um, so I'm just gonna swipe it on like I normally would and then see what happens I was a bit liberal with that I kind of put quite a lot on but let's see how well these brushes can blend that out I'm going to take that small brush that I used for concealer again and um, try it out I don't know how I'm supposed to wash these like at least I know how to wash them properly but I don't know how I'm supposed to spot clean these so I'm just going to go in even though it's got concealer on it it'll probably help blend better anyway so I'm going to try it um, I'm going to do like, let me try and hold the brush first like this, I guess. That is not too bad. I could probably have got a better job with my sponge, my Real Technique sponge, but that is not too bad, so I'm okay with that. Make sure it's not like a swipe on my face and that's all really. If it's not a swipe on my face, I'll be happy with it. I don't mind if my lip highlight isn't too blended out because I like a lot of lip highlights so I'm cool. This would probably be a quicker with my sponge though, I'm not gonna lie. So it's past from me, I think. I probably wouldn't do this every day, but days when I have time to do my makeup, maybe actually. I wouldn't mind like just sitting here relaxing and just taking some time on makeup. Oh that feels very nice. It's very soft so it does feel nice actually. I think I got it down so what I'm gonna do is go over that now with some uh, powder highlight like I normally would in my normal routine so um it's also by Kiko and it's an eyeshadow and it's shade 208 so um it's a gold one so I'm gonna take it kind of just rub it in a bit and then might be too much but we'll try and I'm gonna go Wowza. That's a bit of a stripe, I guess. I mean, with a fan brush, I could probably get a bit more of a, like, spread out look. Spread out? I guess that's the word. But I'm getting a bit more of a... I am getting very, like, intense kind of colour here. So that's not bad. I do like an intense highlight. And I like the nose highlight. That's nice. I like that. I actually quite like this full highlight, it's a nice brush. It does give it quite intense highlight and I definitely like a bit more fluffed out kind of highlight, but it's nice. I like it. Next I'm going to try and do my brows. I'm going to zoom you in a bit guys. Oh, I'm going to try and do my brows. I usually use powder so that's what I'm going to go with because there is a like wax in this little sleek brow kit kind of thing. But what I'm going to do is instead just straight up, oh, straight up just use the powder. There's two of these kind of like, actually there's three of these, let me show you guys what I mean. There's three of these kind of flat kind of brushes, um, if I can kind of get them up to show you. There's this one, which is longer, don't know if you can see that, <laughs> it's longer. And then you have the second one, which is a bit shorter, but they're still very thin. And then there's the last one, which is really, really tiny. I think I might use that for my brows because that's the general size of my brow brush usually. So what I'm going to do is grab my brow powder. Here it is and just dip it in there. I probably should have got my spoolie. Should I do that? Yeah, I probably should. Because I like brushing my hair with the spoolie first because obviously I got foundation into my brows and some people do their brows before foundation to avoid that but I'm really bad and can't foundation it around my brows. Oh, I got brow powder on my arm. I got brow powder, it's okay, it's fine. We can deal. I'm just gonna spoolie through it. My brows are generally quite full, so what I'm gonna try and do is just kind of fill them in, but kind of just shade them in really, not too much like shape, just shade it. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's try and like blend it out with the spoolie and see what happens. For days where I wouldn't want to like shape it out completely, this brush would be nice because it fills it in a lot quicker than my little, which one is it, let me show you, like a little brush like this. I use like a little flat squared brush really and it fills it in a lot faster than that does. 
Um, so yeah, if I want to just like fill them in really and don't really care too much about the shape of them, especially when they're a bit more outgrown like this, I don't really care too much about the shape, I just like to fold in a bit, then it'll be nice. Oh, this is going to be hard. This is kind of harder on my left brow because of the way I hold brushes, it's a bit harder. Plus it's a pretty small handle. Um, but apparently from what the research I did, the small handle is supposed to make it easier for people to do makeup on the south because the regular long handle, the reason for it is that artists, like when they do their makeup, your makeup can be further away from your face. So obviously this being a small handle makes you, be, you as a person doing the makeup yourself, make you like closer to your face, if that makes sense. So that's what I found out and I thought it was pretty interesting, so yeah. I don't think my brows are equal. So what I'm going to do is just go in with my regular brush just to kind of do the front bit a bit because I can't get it exactly on the left brow. I think with practice I could definitely do that. I just like my brows a bit more squared at the front because that's kind of how they are naturally. So yeah, my brows are pretty good. I'm happy with that. Next what I'm going to do is eye makeup and I don't do eye makeup all that often. But I thought I'd try out some of the eye brushes on here, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some primer on first. I'm going to put some Urban Decay Primer Potion on. So I'll just quickly do that with my fingers, because I feel like that's just easier on my fingers anyway. Oh, it's a bit liquidy. I think it might have gone a bit melted with the heat. Oh, that's my eyes. Primed and ready to go. Uh, the reason why I don't do eye makeup often is because my eyes are very sensitive and they get very irritated quite quickly, so that's why I don't do it. But I'm doing it for the sake of the video. Um, I'm gonna take this small brush, it's one of the smallest kind of like overly type ones. Um, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wet it first, I think. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wet it a bit with some setting spray. I'm using the Avon setting spray but you can use whatever you have a lot of people like mac fix plus but i don't own that so yeah i'm just going to spray it a bit I, yeah i think that's enough because i like spraying my brushes before i do eyeshadow anyway especially when it comes to packing on color um what i'm going to use is the zoeva cocoa blends palette so let me just get its sleeve i don't know what color i'm going to use actually we're just gonna experiment with this a bit but is an unforgiving colour, or oh, sorry, a forgiving colour I could use. Alright, I'm just going to take Pure Ganache. It's that one here, it's a gold shade, it's really, really pretty, I love it, it's one of my favourite shades in this palette. Um, I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that to put it all over my kind of lid. I don't know how well this is going to work. If it doesn't work, I have got a few conventional, kind of uh, regular eye makeup brushes on hand if I need to. So I'm going to try this and see how it goes. Um, I mean, obviously, I know there's different brushes for different things, but you could always, like, I don't know what this brush is actually for, but again, like I said, I just don't, I just feel like it would work for eyeshadow, especially when it comes to packing on colour, but if you've got a smaller eyelid space, this probably wouldn't work, and you'd probably need to use um, something like this one, um, but I might use that for my crease, to build the colour into my crease, um, so I'm going to see. But obviously, for someone like me who's got a decent kind of eyelid space, it kind of works, so I'm doing it. I think that's the whole point of these brushes because they're called multi-purpose brushes I guess you could use them for whatever you see fit and how that works for your face shape I mean it doesn't give the cleanest application for eyeshadow um, but it's working I'm going to try and repeat this on my second eye I'm going to spray it a teensy bit more because it's gone a bit dry because I'll see it's quite a dense brush um, there we go the palette's on my lap right now I haven't got much surface space to play around with to put my things down. Okay, let's try this side. This side's gonna be a bit harder. Oh, this works out so much nicer now that it's wetter. In general, like this eyeshadow pure ganache works out really, really good when a brush is wet. I love it. It's very like pigmented once it's um, a brush is wet. Plus, it makes it a lot easier to apply. The eyeshadow then. Oh, let's see if I can figure this out. Cause this eye is a bit harder for me. I think it's just the fact that this is on the left side, and then well, for you guys this is the left side, but for me this is my left. For you guys this is the right side, but for me this is my left side. Or 
is it? I don't know. But basically, this is my left eye, this is my right eye. My left eye is harder because obviously I'm right handed, so I have to go in like this. With my right eye, it's easy because I'm just going straight like this. But for this one, I have to like flip it over and it's kind of more complicated. That isn't too bad actually, I don't think. I think I did a fairly like decent job with that. I've got a bit of fallout on the edges because obviously it's a big brush that so kind of rubbed onto the edges a bit. That's not too bad. I don't mind that. That's like a decent look, I think, personally. What I'm going to do now is try and find something to use in the crease. Um, I think I'm going to use that little brush I showed you. It's a flat. It's There's two brushes like this. Um, I'll show you them both. This one's flat on the end, and this one's a bit more curved on the end. But what I've heard about the curved one is really good for the inner corner, so I'm saving that for the inner corner. Um, so I'm going to try this one for the crease, and I'm going to take Substitute for Love. Oops, Substitute for Love, and freshly toasted together. I like to mix both of them usually on the crease when I'm doing something like this. It's not fluffy enough to blend out the crease but it's enough to place down colour. So what I'm going to do is grab a fluffy brush in a second and blend that out with a fluffy brush. But first I'm going to actually put the same thing on the other side so it's kind of equal-ish. Let's be honest, whoever really gets their eye makeup like perfectly equal. I know I don't, but maybe perfectionists do. Professionals? I'm a perfectionist actually, but I've just learned to like live with the fact that sometimes it doesn't work. Oopsie. See, that one's gone a bit too high now, but we're gonna roll with it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush. Let's see which one I've got in my little bag of brushes. I have a Morphe M504 brush, it's a decently fluffy brush, it's alright, it's good enough, and we're just going to blend this out a bit. Okay, this side's a bit, proving to be a bit harder, <laughs> mainly because I went a bit too high with it. That's not too bad, I'm just going to dip the brush in a little bit with Substitute Love and just try and blend it out a bit better. Okay, it's not too bad. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. So what I'm going to do is quickly go back in with pure ganache, using the same brush. Maybe I should have used my regular um, eyeshadow brush, but we're just going to do it. Okay, I'm stopping there. This will be enough. I think this will do for the purpose of the video. I can clean it up before I go out. Um, Next I'm going to take that little domed one and I'm going to use it for some inner corner highlight and I'm going to use um, some of this colour which is called Sweeter End and then I'll probably use a bit of this which is called Bittersweet, no Bitter Start sorry, but first I'll just go with Sweeter End which is more of a shimmery kind of colour so I'll use that first and I'm just tapping off a bit extra because I don't want it to be too fall outy. Okay, now I'm taking that white kind of creamy colour which is called Bitter Start. I'm just going to pile a bit of that on in the cor in a corner. I'll brighten things up a bit. Wowzers, that did brighten things up a bit. <laughs> I forgot how bright this eyeshadow was. Okay, that will do. It's decent enough, I think. Yeah, it'll do. This whole point of this tutorial slash first impressions thing was just to play around with the brushes, really. Um... Next I'm going to take that second biggest brush and I'm going to try and line my eyes with the shadow and I'm going to use, um, it's called Beans Are White, yes I know it's a bit of a weird name for an eyeshadow this coloured, but I'm going to use this one and I'm going to wet the brush first to see if I can try and like get a bit of a softer, smoother, kind of smoked out kind of liner because that's what I've seen people trying to do, like they've tried to do like actual like winged liner and it doesn't work very well but smoky liner works really well so I'll try that. So I'm just going to wet the brush a bit. Ooh. I think that, think that might be enough. So I'm going to dip it into the beans or white shadow. It does have a bit of fallout, this colour. So I'm going to patch it off a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my mirror and let's see if I can do this. Whew. Breathe. 
Liner is always difficult. Someone like me who hasn't done liner in a while, this is gonna always be difficult for me. It's yeah, let's let's try. Oh, 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 I'm ruining it already. Okay, I'm gonna put the palette down for a second. Let me try to see if I can maybe get close enough. I feel like I've messed it up. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm gonna try and like focus this for you guys so you can. I was doing so well and I messed it up. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Let's see what happens. Try on the other eye and see what happens. Maybe this eye will be even worse. And I just realized you can't see any of the what I'm just doing. I think the best way to do this is to kind of like tug the eye a little bit, which I hate doing, but we're gonna try and do it like that. I got it on my nose. Of course I would. This is why typically I don't actually like doing eyeshadow first. Eyeshadow last, sorry, I like doing it first. Alright, I'm gonna try and like do it like this, like I said. Sorry if I'm a bit out of focus guys, because I can't I've got only got one eye open, I can't tell. This was harder than I thought it was gonna be. That was the sign of my foundation bottle falling. Please, like, in the comments, like, please be nice to me because I don't think that's too bad. <laughs> like, it's not too bad, I guess. I mean, I'm gonna have to fix that up before I go out. But it's not too bad, I don't think. That's just gonna have to do for now, I guess. Then I'm gonna take that same little brush that I used for the inner corner highlight and just highlight my brow bone a bit with a bit of stuff, which is that, that shade right there. Okay, I guess. Drop my mirror. Mm. I'm not completely happy with my makeup. Alright, so my card got full of my SD cards, so I just put another one in. And while I was doing that, I grabbed some pencil liner. This is an Avon one, it's a really old one. It's called Color Trend Pencil Play. Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna try and like line my waterline a bit, I guess. Which I hate doing, but maybe it'll help the look overall. Oh, by the way, I'm looking in the mirror that's on the side to me. Oh, I hate that. I really hate what lining my waterline. Because like I said, sensitive eyes, it doesn't help. Then I'm going to just mascara on my eyes a bit. Scar on my eyes. Coat my lashes with some mascara. That's better. I'm using the... I've still got this little sample that I'm using. It's Clinique High Impact Mascara. Obviously this would be the point where most people might prom felt false lashes, but I hate false lashes, so mascara is the way for me. I think I'm done, apart from lipstick, which I'll just put on now. I'm going to use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this one is in the shade Prague. Okay, that's my <laughs> lipstick kind of done. Um, I don't really use too much of it, I just kind of like a light wash of the colour of it. And then, I think I am done, I think. I'm gonna zoom you guys out a bit, back to the regular bit that I was on. Okay, actually I'll zoom back in a little bit just so you can see the makeup a bit better. Um, I think that's it. I'm gonna just spray my face a bit. And yeah, I think that's my makeup really. Um, it's not too bad. I don't hate it. This was the video guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed me playing with these brushes, this first impression. It's probably a long video, I should have mentioned that at the beginning, sorry. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this and if you want to buy them, I shall try and leave the link in the description below. Um, I'll try and find a link for them because obviously, like I said, I bought them from someone through Facebook. Probably should have done the way not most people did it through Amazon, but I didn't think. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to link them down below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more, remember to thumbs up um, and remember to subscribe to see more 
stuff like this really and um, leave suggestions down in the comments below because I'm always taking suggestions into hand and writing them down in my little notepad so yeah um, this is all for now I'll talk to you guys real soon toodles <laughs>